welcome back to What Time, the channel where the focus is usually on the NVIDIA Shield. I've probably seen messages like these two here in the Facebook groups at least twice a week. Uh, things like, I just got my Shield yesterday, I'm so used to the Fire Stick that I have. I'm trying to get a browser on the Shield, I've tried to download our app, but it says it's not supported. Anyway, it's downloading apps. Or, download is not supported on this device yet. A few months ago I did a video showing you how to put on file link and the Chrome browser on the NVIDIA Shield and that was using the side load channel launcher 2 launcher link up there. In today's video, whilst we're not installing a Chrome browser, it will install a browser that I think is probably easier to use, gives a smoother browsing experience and of course we're going to install file link as well. So as I said usually earlier on, this tutorial is good for all Shields, all ATV, Android TV devices like the new TiVo Stream 4K, the Xiaomi Mi Box, the Mi Cool KM1, KM3 and KM9, etc, uh, etc. Et and it's also good for um, a Fire Stick 4K as well. Preamble over, let's get stuck in! What time? So we're going to go into the Play Store and in the Play Store we're going to go up to the top and across to the search button click on that and I'm using the Shield app on my phone to type in the downloader as you can see as soon as I type in DO it's already appeared the first one there is downloader so we're going to come down to that first one downloaded by Troy Point. We're going to click on that and we're going to install it. Just take a few moments whilst that uh, downloads and installs. Okay, so that's installed and we're going to open that straight away. Why not? So we click on open. As soon as we get into downloader, you'll be asked to allow access to photos, media and files on your device. Allow. And then <clears throat> there's a note there on the second point there. It says browser, load and browse web pages. Well, unfortunately, you can't just yet. So and I'll just show you that you can't. So we click OK to that. Go across to the left and go up to the browser section. Click on the browser section. And there in the browser section you will see that loading web pages is not supported on Android TV devices because Google has required that the built-in browser of this app be removed. A solution is being worked on so please check back soon. Right we have a solution for you here. So we go back to the home. Sorry in fact before we do enable the browser part of the downloader app well, what you can do is to access a file a URL as long as it isn't opening up a web page you can't browse but you can access a file so if you know the address of a file you can download that file so here we go with file linked to access file link directly you go get dot file linked dot com get dot file linked dot com and come down and say go that will connect to the file link site and it will in fact directly download that app to your device whether it be shield or tivo stream 4k mikul km1 km3 km9 whatever android tv device you have that will download it directly even on a fire stick. We're going to come into a little bit of a problem here because we, as we go to install file linked uh, it will ask you for to allow permissions and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. There you go, download it for your security, your phone, your device is not allowed to install unknown apps from this source so you're going to go to settings to allow that and in settings you're going to go to down to which is at the bottom and click on that with the blue sign it is enabled we're going to go back 
click back and we're up to the downloader page where we've got it we've got it and now we're going to install file linked so we click on install and in fact I'm installing an update over an existing application so my data will not be lost come down to the bottom and write and install okay okay that's done and um, we're not going to open it just yet because uh, we'll do that when we're ready now if you want to if you want to I'd recommend you delete that if you're particularly if you're short of space on your device you don't need the APK um, I generally don't I keep a copy of most of these things so I'm going to just click done now to enable the browser we need to download a plugin so we're going to delete that back to that point whoops sorry let's put that back in again that point and we're going to type in tiny URL dot com forward slash browser okay browser so that's tiny URL dot com forward slash browser okay we'll come down to go and click on that and install we went straight into the install menu and we install that done okay again you can delete that as you can see the name of the APK does is all mishmash mosh don't worry about that you can either delete it or click done if you're short on space delete it okay so I'm going to click on done and now we should have the browser section working let's go into the browser section click on there and there you have it now I'm going to go up to the top of the page there and I'm going to delete all that and just load up a web page to show you that it is working correctly and I'm going to put in HTTPS now I'm going to go for what w o t time dot net and see what happens there go enter as you can see we've got a cursor there a little circular cursor that you can move with your d-pad on your browser and you go up to the top there we have the what time website if you go up to the top there you can click on there you can add the current page to favorites and you can save that the other thing you can do is to go to full screen mode note that if you hold select the select button hold it down to button to exit okay so let's go in there and there you have full screen and you can move around quite easily now if you're having trouble with this tutorial you'll find there is a text version of this tutorial browser plugin on the website and you can open that up and follow that through which takes it step by step basically what we've done in this video okay and screenshots all the way through helping you out okay hope that helps now as we said earlier to get out of the full screen browser mode you're going to click long press on select and then exit full screen mode and that's it done we've got file linked installed installed and we've got a browser installed well you've made it this far into the video let us know how you got on comment down below give us a like if you liked it and if not tell us why if there's anything you'd like to see in the future vids please let us know if you're not already subscribed please subscribe now your support is very much appreciated and we'll catch you when you catch us in the next one. Turtle Pip.